But now, is there a price on how much you'll sell your child for? What? Sell your child? Is there a price? Sell my child. If somebody came to you and offered you ten billion dollars, would you take it? No. For your child? No. What's the number? What's the cap number? There is no number. I will, RJ, you I go quiet over there. There ain't no said fucking number. Ten billion. Get I'm, these motherfuckers. Not for me, <laughs> but I, there, there are parents who, who five hundred thousand. They'll fucking sell their kid for that. Me, nah, it's prices. I ain't f- never. F- can't what about five hundred million? Nah, I don't. The know. love for my child. You is gonna fucking die of depression after you do what that? What about five hundred billion? Man, I'd no. be so I'd be so depressed. I can't even go spend Would a fucking you sell dollar. Your girls? Nah, I wouldn't sell my kids. Yeah. But it's somebody, it's somebody out there that will. Like, yeah, take that. Take yeah, that they don't love they, these kids. People, everybody that get pregnant ain't meant to be a. a oh, trust me, I know. I watch Steve Wilkos every day. Man, uh, <laughs> trust me, I know. People are fucking trash. Okay. Some people dead as, like, cannot handle what it takes to be a parent. Mm-hmm. Some people are just evil. No, yeah, that's what real. it is. Some people are just. Fu- I was watching a Steve Wilkos episode today where a woman had fucking was like beating up her four month old child, mm. like beating it up. That baby had like brain yeah, bleeding and shit. Up. Like He's that baby had like I'm dead. Like, that baby had like brain that's bleeding and shit. Why and, like, are you making it funny? Because why? Talking <laughs> about like beating it up. Like, she was. She was beating that baby up like it was a grown man. That baby ended up going to the fucking hospital, and that baby would never be able to move and, and walk right and talk right ever in his life. Damn. That's fucked You know up. what I'm saying? Like some she people, d- to die. some people don't deserve no kids, bro. Some people don't deserve no kids, and some niggas, some. Oh my god, that's my biggest fear. It's like mm. I, something happened to me, and my kids gotta be raised by somebody else, man. Yeah. Good God, people, it be it be the ones closest to you. That's all I'm gonna say. It be the ones closest to you, bro. And I don't like with my with my kids, bro. I don't do like sleepovers and Me shit. Me either. You know, you know, like growing up, we really did the sleepovers. I'm not with that shit, bro. Nah, I don't you fuck don't with that shit. People come to your house, or they can't. Go I don't do that you. either. I mean, if like <laughs> you can, you can come to my house. I'd rather you not. But, but, <laughs> I, but I would allow it. Like I would, I would allow it because I know the type of person I am. Yeah. But right. I'm not sending my kid to your house. I know. The, I know your kid is gonna be good at my house because yeah. I'm me. I know that. I'm not sending my kid to your house. I'm not. I'm not chancing it. I'm sorry. I'm not. Nobody's child is staying at my house. Sorry. Nobody. No, no. Unless you are immediate family. Nobody's child is staying at my house. It's not the type of. I be smoking weed and shit. No. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Yeah. Hell nah. I'm still. I'm still gonna get my smash. I'm still gonna get my smash and shit. Like, uh-huh. nah. I don't need so that. So what if like. When y'all's kids get older, you know what I'm saying? Like, like 14, 15 yeah, years old? Yeah, like teenager years. And, like, say your friend, like, your y'all's kids are what? Y'all kids, kids around the same age, right? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. like, say y'all kids, like, now at an age where they, like, establishing, like, friends. Yeah. And they get older, and they get, like, 15, like, 16, 17 years old, 15, 16, whatever. And they're still friends with that person. Y'all met their parents. They went through all school together. Yeah. Pretty much normal. They all, like, oh, nah. that's, that's different, then too. Is that good? Mm. But you're saying, so y'all saying, like, at this age, in this present time, no. Nah, 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 nah. And they don't, you don't feel like there's anybody in your in their life that they've known long enough and secure enough to feel like you can be going over that person's house spending the night. I got, I got, I got certain friends, like, like, like well, like well, RJ, right? Mm-hmm. If my if RJ was having a sleepover at his house, I know if, if my kids are invited, yeah. I know they're good. But that's my that's my friend of over like 10, 12 years. Mm-hmm. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. Same difference. thing with Kyle. You know him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's different. But I'm talking about like kids from school. I don't give a fuck how long. Yeah, I don't give a fuck if my kid went to school with your kid from kindergarten to 12th grade. <laughs> that don't mean your ass not a fucking weirdo. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? What about, what about that black mother who went to a sleepover with her kids, went there with the parents, and she ended up dead and nobody knew what the fuck happened? Oh, yeah. You know the, what I'm the saying? Like, lady. I don't yeah. trust people. Like, she, not, she a fucking adult. Bro, I don't trust people. Like, I don't trust people, period. Yeah. Like, it's not even I don't trust your kids. Bro, I just watched a documentary about this man called the Vampire Black, it's a black guy called the Vampire or whatever. Mm. He had a cult of his own kids, right? These kids went to school every day. It's all people. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was out here. But at home, they're, they were all incest. They were all his kids. They, you know you get what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. they were all... He had, a, he had a baby with his own baby, and his they just kept kid. having babies. Yeah. And these kids went to school. You get what I'm saying? They were out here sick. working regular jobs and shit. Mm-hmm. You, what, what happens if they ask my... Now, mind you, they, my, these kids were grown. What happens if, okay, oh, you knew Lucy since she was in kindergarten. Mm-hmm. She in fucking 11th grade, 12th grade. But in her household, they rape each other. They lick each other. They do all type of weird shit. You know what I'm saying? 
it's a lot of weird shit that go on behind people house behind people's doors in their houses mm-hmm. that you don't know what the fuck going on that's not out in the open. Every black family on this earth in my eyes got an ancestral story where somebody in their family has done some weird shit or they know somebody in a family that has done some weird shit to somebody that nobody else outside the family know. Huh, I have ancestors in my family. You get what I'm saying? Like <laughs> ain't no I don't I just don't take them chances and America is fucked up. I ain't yeah. taking no chances and the justice shit so fucked that's up like the nigga might get off. Old. I, I believe people people are real sinister, man. People they are, are sinister. I, I believe kids, kids can, be can be sinister. sinister. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I I don't I'm not trusting nobody. I'm not giving nobody a chance. Watch the show you Kid know. Murderers. Yeah. Watch yeah, the show yeah. Kid Murderers. These kids are 11, 12 years old, contemplating murder. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And planning it out and then getting out after 20 years. These motherfuckers get out when they're 30. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like and this done this thing just want to, to see what it's like again. to kill somebody. Mm-hmm. If they even go to jail at all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just don't fuck with that. Like, I ain't gonna never, t- I don't give a fuck how old my kids get. You'll see when you have kids today. No matter how old your kids get, they're gonna always be your kids. Mm-hmm. Like a child to you, like a baby. That's your baby. baby. Like, you're, never, you're never gonna look at them as, uh, even equal. if you see them yeah. as a, a grown man or a grown woman, it's still your baby, though. That's your child. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, if my child 18 years old and I see a friend of hers that's acting weird, I'm gonna be super protective over that, even if she is a grown woman. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell my daughter, like, look, this bitch ain't shit. She's a fucking weirdo. You know what I'm saying? You need to open your eyes. I, that's yeah. how I'm like, I could guarantee you that's I mean, exactly that's what I'm going to say. But I mean, that's how parents are. I'm pretty sure when your parents always told you that somebody wasn't your friend before you found out. But some parents are blind, I'm, though, T. I'm some definitely going to tell fuck. my kids that one of their friends is a fucking weirdo. Verbatim. Yes, word for word. verbatim. That kid's a weirdo. You need to watch out for him. But then some parents, yeah. a lot of parents got their blinders on. Because you pick up signs that your kids just don't see. Mm-hmm. But some parents just don't pick it up. Like, yeah. for us, we... Because they're not attentive. They're not attentive. Attention. And that's a lot. And there's my so much shit going on. My mother was attentive. Too motherfucking attentive. If you Straight up. Me. Straight up. <laughs> Straight up, bro. My, mom, my mama was, too. My mama... Like, I ain't never had no shit like that going on. Like... But my mama say that that ain't your friend. I took it. I took he because I would invite my friends to the house, and they all met my mom. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And like God bless the dead, my mama was a real nigga when it came to that shit. Like she fuck with RJ. She, mm-hmm. she, she my auntie did too. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But if RJ gave me a bad vibe, nah, he can't be here. Nah, mm-hmm. you can't hang out with him. My daddy would too. Like, but yeah. some parents they they see oh that's that's they've been friends since elementary school. They think it's that crazy, shit means something. My mom didn't let me. She let me do sleepovers and stuff. But like if like I can't I couldn't stay over your house. Like if you had brothers or something like that. And yeah. It makes sense. If yeah. you had brothers, I couldn't stay over your house. And like my friend. Even though, you know, her family is like my family now at this point in life. But, like, our first interaction, she had, like, a big, big sleepover. And she has a family of seven. Mm. And, like, she had a big, big sleepover for her birthday. And um, I just knew that my mom, everybody was going. I knew my mom wasn't going to let me go. If I would have told her that she got five brothers. <laughs> and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. when we pulled up, they was outside playing basketball. My mom was like, you didn't tell me she had brothers. Mm. And she still let me stay in. Nothing ever happened because, you know, like. I yeah. think my mom vowed. I didn't ask to go to stay at people's house much. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I wasn't like, a, oh, I want to go. And if I did, it was the same friend's house over and over and over again. Like I yeah. stayed at my childhood's best friend's house every fucking weekend. When we go on Christmas break, I'm over there. Mm-hmm. Like I stayed there a lot. Yeah. Like I stayed there a lot. Now I will say like. I had this one friend when I was in elementary school. Nothing weird ever happened at her house, but she had a lot of sisters of all ages. Like, I think the oldest one was, like, 19. We were, like, maybe nine. Mm. For one, almost died over there. That's why I don't swim anymore. And nothing bad with them, but I don't swim anymore because I almost drowned at their pool. She had a pool party slash sleepover for our fifth grade graduation, and I went to the pool party, and I jumped in. I'm five foot now. I jumped in the five foot and almost drowned. Yeah. They saved me, but that's why I don't swim to this day. Mm-hmm. But they was just a real raunchy type of family. Like, they was real ghetto. Mm-hmm. And so I stayed over there. Like, it was the beginning of the summer, and I think I stayed over there, like, the first two weeks we got out of school. And they just, it was so many ages of people that, like, us being t- 10 and she got, like, a 20-year-old sister, like, they boyfriends are spending the night. And, like, yeah. it was just real grown in there. Yeah. So, like, I got picked up, and I got in the car, like, cussing. Cause they just cussed around that bitch. Like mm-hmm. yeah. it was adults and kids, all kid, all the lady kids. But mm-hmm. I just got in the car, like, and I was over there for so long 
that I started picking up them cussing, and it was just normal. Like, you could cuss over there. Yeah. I got in the car with my woman. I'm cussing. I'm like, fuck. The fuck yeah. you think this is?